And we thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm Jonathan Martin. And first at noon, it is primary day here in the Peach State. Voters are heading to the polls to select who they want to be uh, their candidate for president. 11 Alive's Ariana Manis joining us live from the Buckhead Library. So, Ariana, how's voter turnout so far today? Well, Jonathan, voter turnout here at the Buckhead Library Precinct, it has been pretty low. We spoke to election officials inside, and they say uh, around 11 a.m. they saw about 30 voters. But we did speak to voters who says that although the race for the White House it is set, it was still important for them to come out today to make sure their voice is heard. I think it's important that we all make sure our voices are heard. Sharon Scribbling was one of the few voters who cast their ballot this morning on primary day, and she noticed a slow turnout at the Buckhead Library precinct. Surprised, but not surprised because of the lack of communication about today being voting day. While Scribbling says she realized at the last minute today was primary day, she made sure to come out to cast her vote for President Joe Biden. For his policies and for what he's already implemented and his plans for our future. It's important that more people from my demographic show up, stand out. Ricardo Williams says former President Donald Trump has his vote. Just wanted to make sure uh, we supported Donald Trump today. Ahead of primary day, almost 440,000 people voted early statewide, according to the Secretary of State's office, about 6% of Georgia voters. It's a citizen responsibility. Everybody should. It's easy. For voters like Bo Allen, who voted today, he says the lines were short and the voting process was a breeze. Voters lead to politicians who make policy, who impact the voters. So it's important to do it. Now, it is important that you check your polling location. Since we've been here for the last three hours, we've actually seen more people get turned away because they were at the wrong voting location than we've actually seen people be able to vote. Now, we have a list of all the precincts and how to find your voting location on our website, on our voter guide on 11alive.com. Back to you. All right, Ariana Manise, live for us. Thanks so much.